What's up everybody? Today is Thursday and it's, uh, it's like almost 6.45 or something like that in the p.m. So getting this going a little bit late, didn't do anything all day today and that was awesome. Uh, gonna make dinner tonight. This is what I'm gonna make. So like you saw in the Christmas haul video that I did a few videos ago, I got this for Christmas. The Anthony Bourdain cookbook. And we're gonna make something out of this. This is what we're gonna make. Off of page 87. Grilled cheese sandwiches, caramelized onions, yummy! And we've got our onions done. Got them all sliced up there. Just gotta get prepare the pot, which is here. I'm gonna caramelize the onions inside there. This is probably way too big, but it's okay. That's what we got. So that's what I'm using. Okay, so to start things off, we have to have six tablespoons of unsalted butter. Got this Imperial unsalted butter. I love that they already have the tablespoons already mapped out there. Now I'm, you know, no chef, no cook. I'm really just taking a stab here. So let's see how it goes. That's what it, they say again. Six tablespoons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll cut it right here. Boom. We're off to a good start. So I was wrong about the giant pot. It's really just like a pan. I'm gonna use this one. This should work. And let's get our fire going here. Medium low. Put it like right around there. Fire. Now to get the onions started, we only need two tablespoons. So we'll go ahead and get that real quick. We have our four left over. We have our two going in the pan. onions are looking good. We still got to season them lightly with uh, some salt. Let's get some salt. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and do this lightly over the onions. All right, so our butter melting pretty good. Let's go ahead and get our onions in there. So this process takes 25 to 30 minutes or so. Uh, just kind of occasionally stirring the onions up and uh, it says you know not to rush this process with high heat so just go ahead and you know let it play out over medium low heat so that's what we're gonna do just a little bit of salt in there all right and stir that up a little bit my eyes are burning a bunch, so that's cool. Not full on crying yet. They're definitely burning though. This is gonna be awesome. I cannot wait already to eat this sandwich. The onions are coming along nicely. They're starting to get a nice brown on them. They smell unbelievable. My eyes are still sort of burning a little bit. Not so bad. But oh my gosh, the smell. Why can't we come up with smell of vision? You guys would be dying right now. Unless you don't like onions, then you'd be dying for a whole other purpose, I guess. It's funny because when I was a kid, I despised onions. Not anymore. And these smell delightful. So onions are coming along. 
still browning a little more. Smell even better every second. Still have about eight minutes left on these. And then we can actually start constructing the sandwiches. Also got some soup, I'll show you guys that in a bit. All right, so here's our onions. Smelling amazing. They're basically done, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and move them off the fire over here so they can cool a little bit. We're gonna grab this one, and this is where we're gonna start constructing our sandwiches. Well, don't fall over on this. That would be bad. So those are gonna sit there and cool off. Let's get this going. So we got our bread ready to go. Uh, actually got wheat bread. It calls for white bread, but this will work. And also, crazy thing, instead of buttering the bread, we're gonna mayonnaise the bread. There's still gonna be butter in the pan, but the mayo is going on the bread. This should be interesting. But it says the reason for that is because then, you know, it doesn't brown the bread as fast as butter does. So you do the mayonnaise and you get a more evenly uh, golden brown on the bread. So, awesome. Let's go ahead and start getting a couple of these ready. This one, numero uno. And also, let's go ahead and get our butter ready by just slicing it into its tablespoons because we're going to be needing each one. And it's getting all soft now. So that's awesome. Hmm, well, that was fun. So let's get the first piece of bread going. Butter in there. Time for our cheese. And we've got our onions. Let me go ahead and get those placed on. And we've got our other piece of bread there. So far, so good. Simply Nature Roasted Tomato Basil Soup, because I think that'll go really good with the sandwich. And this just gets microwaved, so we'll go ahead and put it up here. We'll do two and a half. Oh yeah. And here we go. Finished product. We got the tomato basil soup in there. And here's the grilled cheese sandwich. With caramelized onions. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Oh my goodness. That looks crazy. Let's give it a taste. And here's our first bite. 
Cheers, guys. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's the business right there. It's crazy because I put a lot of onions on there. And you guys saw it. And they're not overpowering at all. But you get the right amount of cheese in there. And I think the mayo on the bread definitely is the way to go. Because it actually, I don't know, it like evens out all the flavors a little bit better without just like a ton of butter. Good stuff. You guys need to try this. So, totally forgot to end the video. Uh, <laughs> I actually went up to Rowdy's for about an hour, not too long. It was a good time. I didn't film anything there. Just kind of hung out, chatted, had a couple of beers. It was a good time. Back home. <clears throat> gonna go do something really cool and fun tomorrow. I'll bring you guys along. It's gonna be a good time. But anyways, thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave some comments down below. Say hello. Also, hit that subscribe button. Come along. Adventures to come. But anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep your heads up. Stay positive. And peace, guys.